Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you where to go to find the rebreather and the stun gun. These are two key items that will help you get started in Sons of the Forest, so let's get into it. Okay, so as you can see, we've got the map on screen here. Now, you can see there's four different spawn locations that I'm aware of at the moment. Um, so whichever one you spawn to, you want to be looking for this particular cave. Now, the cave is on the beach, as you can see, and it is actually next to one of these spawning locations. So hopefully you land that one. If not, make your way down to this beach and look for this cave. Okay, so as you can see, we have managed to land at the beach spawn location, and you'll see there is a cave straight in front of us. So we're going to go into this cave, because this is where the rebreather and the stun gun are located. So we're going to go in and go and grab those two items. So when you reach the cave, you'll see it's boarded up. Just knock those boards down with your axe, and we're free to go in. Okay, so we're now in the cave. The first room that you'll find, there are a couple of things to loot. So we've got a dead body here, you'll have some ammo. There's a box over here, a computer to break if you want some computer chips. Two computers, as well as some more ammo. An air tank, which will come in handy for the rebreather, as well as a note. So what we're going to do, we're going to go head straight into the cave. Be careful of the bats that fly out at you as well. Here they come. There they are. We're going to duck down here. Now, you will find a few mutants in this that you'll have to fight off, including a finger mutant. Now, we're on peaceful just for this tutorial. But what you want to do is come straight through once you finish those guys off. We're going to go down the list here. And you'll find a little bit of a river with a flotation device. You can't pick that up or use it. You will find a few more mutants in here as well, so you will need to fight those off. Now we're going to get to a bit of a crossroads. Now we'll be looking right in a moment. However, we want to go down the hill. We're going to follow this little stream and we're going to keep going. Once we get down here, we will get through to a rather large opening once we walk through the water. Again, there will be a few more mutants to fight off, so make sure you are prepared. And we're going to come into this big opening here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to stick right in this. Again, don't forget, kill the mutants. So if we stick to the right, we'll come to this little cave here. So you don't need to crouch down, but you can if you want. Although it looks like you do need to, but you don't. We're then going to come to this ledge, and you'll see a light on there. Now we're just going to drop down. There are a couple of body parts here as well. Again, we're going to stick to the right. We're going to go around the water. Do not jump in the water. There is a nasty looking shark that's in there, so you want to avoid that. Here you'll find a couple of cans, some cloth, some more food, some alcohol for some molotovs, some bones, and you will find the rebreather so you'll be able to pick that up and you can see there is the shark so here's the rebreather we now have that item you'll notice as well next to the rebreather there is a little bit of a clue that the stun gun is in fact here so let's go ahead and get that stun gun as well so to get back up we gonna have to do a little bit of parkour so we're gonna jump on the ledge here we're going to jump onto this stalagmite, or stalactite, I can never remember which one it is. So let's then go back the way we came. So this time we want to stick to the left to make sure we find the entrance, because if you remember we stuck to the right on the way. And we are at the entrance. We're going to go back through the water, all the life vests, and the little rubber ring. Back up the stream to where the light is. So here is the crossroads, if I turn around, if you remember, we got that crossroads. So for the stun gun, we're going to head to the right this time. Of course, it doesn't matter which order you do it in. If you prefer to get the stun gun first, that's absolutely fine. But we're going to just follow this corridor along. Again, remembering that there will be mutants and finger mutants on the way, so do not 
forget to make sure you are heavily supplied um, if you've got bone armor it's highly recommended if you have killed some mutants don't forget to skin them for their creepy armor but we're just gonna keep running just to show you the location so keep going it is a long way you'll start to hear some music as there is a bit of a stereo in the ceiling which of course you can break for a computer part so let's keep going again and we will eventually after a little bit of journeying get to where there is a man hung up there he is you'll also notice in this window that something does actually move there it goes so just be aware of that if you like a little bit of a teaser and there's the stun gun in the gooey things that's on the ceiling so grab that and that is the stun gun and the rebreather found then you just need to make your way back out of the cave and it's time to move on to the next item which we'll cover in the next video so don't forget to hit like and subscribe to be notified of when the next video is coming out as well and of course it helps the channel grow we are just getting started and we'll be doing a full series on sons of the forest in the future so again the likes and the subscribes are extremely appreciated by myself and it will help me get started and get this channel up and running so i appreciate the love guys so thanks again and enjoy sons of the forest cheers for watching and we'll see you in the next one